Hello, amazing artists. This is Miss Deese coming to you live from the online Bonner Art Studio. Today's lesson is for all of my kindergarten through second grade artists. Your word of the day today is going to be the same word of the day that we learned last week when we started our big brand new unit. Remember that your word of the day is the word portrait. We know that a portrait is a picture that an artist makes of another person. There can be a lot of different types of portraits. We know that you can create self-portraits, which are pictures of ourselves, kind of like a selfie. You can create family portraits, where an artist makes a picture of all the people that love and take care of them, just like we did last week. And you can create a pet portrait or a picture of your animals. Today, we are going to be focusing on the type of portrait that is a self-portrait. We are going to be making pictures of ourselves, but this won't just be any old self-portrait. This will be a picture of us in our dream career. A career is just a fancy word for a job. For today's project, you will need the following things. You will need a sheet of paper, and this can be any type of paper you find around your house. You're going to need materials to draw with. They could either be a pencil, a marker, or a crayon, and you can add color to your picture after it's drawn using any of these three materials too. Before we draw today, friends, I want to invite you to take an imagination trip with me. Close your eyes and use that concentration. Now let's think, when we grow up, if we could be anything in the world, what would we want our career or job to be? You could be things like a teacher, you could be an artist, you could be a doctor or a nurse, you could be a chef or a baker, you could be a police officer that protects people, you could be a mailman to deliver the mail, you could be a fireman, a plumber, a farmer, any job in the world. Once you have that job in your brain, I want you to then think about what that person wears to their job. All careers have an important wardrobe that helps them do their job. I want you to think about what that would look like, what accessories you might have, like a hat or a shirt or a special pair of shoes that you need. And when you have that in your brain, I want you to open your eyes. Hi guys. So, this work of art shows me in one of my dream careers. Can you figure out what dream career I was showing in this self-portrait? Hmm. If you guessed an artist, you're correct. Do you see how I looked with all my clothing and accessories added? And I wanted to show you how before I start drawing, I created a list of the things that I would need to show myself in that career. You can do this on the same sheet of paper, or if you don't want your list to be on your finished art project, you can do it on a different sheet of paper, okay? I have my artist hat, I included a paint palette and a paintbrush, and I included an apron to protect my clothing. So, I don't know about you, but I actually have a lot of dream careers. So I'm gonna make another self-portrait below, showing you my next dream career. Hmm. My dream career that I'm going to show you today is going to be a park ranger. Some of you know that Miss Deese really, really loves the outdoors, and so I think it would be fun one day to work as a park ranger, showing people around our national parks and protecting our land. If I were a park ranger, let's see, what are some things I would need to wear? I'd probably want a hat because I would be out in the sun a lot all day. I'd probably want some hiking boots because I would be doing a lot of walking, wouldn't I? And let's see, I also might need a backpack because there's a lot of supplies I would need to carry around with me. And I think, I think I would probably want to wear a vest because a lot of times when I see people working at parks, they have on vests too that show where they work. All right. 
So before I think about any of my clothing, we need to go back to our basics for drawing our self portrait. On hand, you want to have your pencil ready, but Miss Deese is gonna actually start in pen so that you guys can see me. And remember when we draw it first, we don't wanna color anything in. This is a lot like we're making big open shapes and lines so that you can add color later. So I'm gonna start with my head shape. I found a circle tracer around my house and I'm putting my head up on the top of my paper so that I have room for my body below. But notice I didn't put it directly on top because I want a little bit of room for my clothing and hair. All right, I traced my circle, there we go. I'm gonna fill in that little line. This is the great thing about when you guys use pencil, if you have little mistakes, you can fix it like that. I'm just making my line a little bit thicker to fix my mistake. All right, my next step for my self-portrait, I'm gonna add my neck. Remember, you don't want your neck to be super, super skinny because it has to be big enough to support your head. And when we make our neck, we think a lot about making a rectangle shape. Then I'm gonna move back up into my face. On my self-portrait, I'm gonna have eyes. Remember, our eyes happen in the middle of our head, not up on top. So I'm gonna draw two eyes shaped a little bit like ovals or like footballs. One and two. All right, I'm gonna add the inside part of my eyes. I have the big open circle for color, which is the iris, the little teeny tiny circle, which is the pupil, that's the dark part. And I like to leave a little bit of white space in my pupil to show where I can see in the light. Do the same thing on this side, iris and pupil. There we go. Next up, I'm gonna need my nose. Remember your nose starts between your eyes and comes down and curves. Then I'm gonna have my mouth. Well, if I'm at a job that I love, of course I'm gonna want a big smile. And I might make my smile even larger by showing a little bit of the inside of my mouth. There we go. And then I'm gonna add my ears. My ears line up with where my eyes are. And I'm gonna add some freckles to my face. If you have any freckles or beauty marks, you can do the same thing. And then I'm gonna jump back to my eyes. I want to add some eyebrows. And remember to leave your eyebrows in a big open shape so you can color them in later because they should mostly match the color of your hair. And then some eyelashes. And if you're a boy, you can also add eyelashes. All boys and girls will have eyelashes on their eyes as a tiny detail. There we go. Now moving forward into my next part for my hair, I wanna think about the details I mentioned in my outfit. If I'm gonna have a hat on, I'm gonna need to make sure that I leave room for that. So let's see, if I'm a park ranger, I'm gonna have a big hat that protects my head. So I'm gonna go up like a bump, come down and go back up. I want it to be a little bit like a sun hat. And it goes across there and again. And I'll color that in later to hide that line. And then the brim of the hat is gonna come out kind of far because remember, I want it to protect my face. And 
and we'll fix those lines later. Remember, you'll be drawing in pencil, so you won't have that same problem. And then my hair, let's see if I'm working at a part. I think I'm going to wear my hair in braids to keep it out of my face. So I'm going to have a little bit come down behind my ear. And I like to draw braids by using an oval shape. So I'll just connect my oval shapes together. And then a little triangle on the bottom to show my hair that's out. Same thing on this side. One, two, three ovals, and then my triangle and my ponytail. There we go. Now I'm going to move on from my hat to some of my clothes. Make sure when you get ready to draw your arms that you draw them wide enough. Our shoulders are not little skinny lines that go down here. They need to be big enough to support our head and to have room for our tummy. So I'm gonna imagine my line went behind my hair and then goes down here for my arm. And the same thing on this side. drawn all the details of your self-portrait friend, you can choose from your markers or your crayons or your color pencils or whatever you have at your house to add color, if that's an option for you. I'm going to go ahead and start coloring mine. I'll see you guys in a second. Hope you really enjoy making your dream career self-portrait. I can't wait to see what kind of careers you come up with and how you show yourself in that career. Make sure you start with your list. Make sure you think about all the things that need to be in a self-portrait and then add your clothing and color. After you've finished, take a photo and tag it to the Google Classroom or to your Seesaw account so that I can upload it to the art gallery. Bye guys.